What's up, everyone? Sean here, and uh, welcome to another uh, car detailing journal of sorts. Uh, if you want to just hear me blabber on about uh, car detailing slash washing, then this is the place for you. Uh, put it in the background or something. You can hear me just talk on about you know, pretty much everything relating to uh, detailing. Uh, so there are a couple things that are kind of new. Um, I kind of changed up the... Um, let me just drag it out here. My detail keg right here, you may have noticed. And I think it's working pretty well so far. But basically, um, what I have over here... Oh, yeah, it's got some product in there still. Uh, I have the metallic... Um, let me see if we can focus that. There we go. We have this uh, little guy right here, which basically... Um, is a metal quick connect of sorts uh, for the keg right here. Uh, this is a, the liquid quick connect. Um, that it did come with the gas one, which I uh, suggest, I guess, not to uh, interchange one or other because, like, oh, you know, I have to buy another gas or uh, excuse me, liquid. Um, uh, what do you call it? Quick connect for the detail kit because yeah, that's pretty much what you're going to be using the whole time unless you're going to put gas in there like uh, air. Um, if you're going to use a, uh, an actual, um, uh, what do you call valves and everything, you could do that actually. You don't have you don't even have to um, add a tire valve right here like this. You can actually use that as a means to pump air into here as long as you have the right uh, connectors and couplers and whatever converters and everything um, pretty much so uh, pretty cool though back to here um, it's nice and sturdy it's not plastic you know like your the most common ones right for kegs and so um, oops let's just do it like this and then there we go there we go that little little it'll take some time to get used to but yeah um and then yeah pretty much uh have this um female connector right here pretty much and then this is the key right here this is uh something i found on amazon thanks to some web searching which is the um uh, a third converter of sorts basically so um all this over here is mpt right national pipe threading here though there's that's where it gets a little different um you would think it would have some something common to it but no it's um its own threading lovely right this is the the threading on here and all the other keg quick connect um threads are called flare threads or i guess flare so you'll have to specifically look for that online right um probably won't find it in like hardware stores or something i mean i could be wrong uh i wish that would be the case if anyone knows let me know like if it's in like just your local home depot or something or harbor freight or whatever then yeah please let me know because i would like to um just pick it up right but um this is the key though because it has a female flare thread uh and so that it can take it take in this quick connect in the first place and it has a male mpt thread quarter inch so um both are both are quarter inch right quarter inch flare thread uh quarter inch mpt thread or mbt in this case and then the, and that of course then you can allow to use your air hose um whatever you want to um spray on man so <laughs> That's uh, how I am able to uh, get it all going. Plus, um, right here, right? Uh, another th uh, converter right here. And then base, or no, no excuse me. Sorry, this is not a converter. Um, at least for all right here is a quick connect. Is an air quick connect right here from Flexzilla. You can tell by the green color, right? They love that uh, green color for some reason. And then you have, of course, um, the quick connect uh, mail right here that um, connects to here, which is another converter, which is from the 
quarter uh, quarter inch MPT uh, female to uh, three fourths inch um, garden hose thread right here, uh, male of course. Which let me see, sorry about that. Auto focus is not exactly what I'm used to here for this guy. Anywho, um, yeah, basically this is also key because I can then attach a garden hose uh, sprayer of sorts. So this is the one right here uh, that I'm using right now. It's just a generic um, garden hose spray nozzle, right? That you can buy at your hardware store um, pretty much. At least it's style anyway. Um, I bought this one online. Uh, I'll try to leave all that stuff in the description below to like build it yourself if you want to for your detail keg. And then all this uh, extra stuff is um, just like quick connects right here. You next to, I, I, I like having it because it kind of extends it a little bit. Just enough for this uh, spray nozzle right here, which is also the very, very much a key to how I get all that misty um, goodness, right, for my rinse washing. This whole thing has been pretty cool. I um, just wanted to show off what I have uh, for my detail keg, pretty much. May I actually uh, make, make uh, separate videos out of this, but anyway. Um, so, yes, so this is my current, um, or what you might call my detail keg uh, sort of setup. So what I have down here, let's just start from the bottom up, I guess. So this is actually like a, like a little dolly that I got, um, which is actually for, for plants, like uh, pot, pots and, it's like a plant dolly, basically. It's got like a bunch of wheels on it, caster wheels, a swivel around, it's pretty cool. And uh, I forget the price on it, but it's not too bad, I don't think. Um, I'll leave that in the description as well. Of course, this guy right here, of course, the the main attraction is actually a refurbished or used um, soda keg, which apparently had has had a Seven Up in there at some point. But it works. It's um, in working order. I got it for like like 60 bucks or something, it's not bad. If you buy, try to buy these like brand new, um, they kind of go for like 120 bucks. So I pretty much got this like for almost half, if not half the price. Um, I'll, I'll try to leave that website in the description as well. And then, uh, of course it comes with everything, you know, the lid and everything. So that's like obviously pretty standard. Uh, I bought this uh, tire valve, it's, you know, it's all it's like nickel plate or something. And uh, it actually comes with that little screw as well. Uh, this was a bit of a hassle to add on there cause, because I um, barely was able to drill a hole in here because this is stainless steel, I believe. And it was like 304 or something, 304 uh, stainless steel, I think. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and then I drilled a hole in here like barely because <laughs> Um, I did. I did manage to put, uh, punch a hole in here twice because I, I have another one over there. But um, this one was no exception. It was also hard to do, but got it through nonetheless. I just used some drill bits and um, got it through there. And pretty much, um, the rest is history, right? We got the tire valve in there. Works pretty well. Uh, good. I got a good seal in there, and so it uh, it is able to keep in some air pressure in there, um, even at four gallons of liquid. Which is pretty nice. Um, that is uh, pretty much like the max I'll ever go, of course, because this is a five gallon tank and you'll you'll need some room for the air to be in there, right? Even with one gallon of air, it like lasts it for, well, at least one car, so that's fine. And um, unlike liquid, I can just like keep pumping in into here. Whereas if I need to, um, you know, fill, refill with more product, then I have to um decompress or depressurize you know like that and then um take out the lid and uh and then refill it and put it back in and repressurize again you know so i rather have a lot more product at four gallons at max and then uh you can just easily refill it with air if you need to right but even with one gallon of air like i said it's uh definitely enough for at least one car 
So I, I've uh, had some pretty pleasing results with this uh, detail keg. It's been uh, my go -to, one of my go-to sort of tools for um, car washing or car detailing. Do you need a detail keg? No, but it's extremely nice. Um, it puts out nice pressure um, to be able to like make this happen, right? Which is um, my spray nozzle right here. So um, this, uh, like I said, this is a garden hose spray um, nozzle that you can buy at a hardware store. Quick connects right here. This is the essential washer ones. Um, stainless steel, obviously. And if you can tell though, it's a little different because the, um, let me try to disconnect right here. So when you have the mail, right? Um, quick connect. This thread is a uh, female, right? So it actually has a female end with the male uh, quick connect right here, which is uh, kind of unusual because it's both male, right? At, at least the us uh, usually, right? But, um, and then you have, got a little liquid in there. Anyway, so um, this is uh, the same as well. You have the female quick uh, Quick connect right here, right? But the thread is male, so kind of kind of unusual. And then uh, of course this guy, this little guy right here is um, the other key. There's a lot of key. There's a lot of key components in here, right? <laughs> um, this is what allows you to uh, spray that fine mist. Um, very really cool. I've, I've really grown to like this setup here because it really puts out a nice amount of mist. Uh, and still, like I mean, you can pump out enough liquid to like essentially like drench your surface. Uh, if you want to like wash down all that grit off of your paint, uh, you probably just like just flood it right with uh, a lot of, a lot of mist rather than just using pressure. Uh, which you could, but you're gonna uh, drain your tank real fast. Which is why this is uh, going to be like a great combination of like product usage rate, but misting, but the misting ability is really really cool. Uh, gets the product all across the, the paint. Um, really gets it working, you know, with the rinseless encapsulates all that stuff, emulsifies and everything. You know those keywords. Um, you may be staring at this little thing right here because so essentially what I was trying to do is to have some sort of rubber guard right here, right? Because, you know, this is all metal, so you never know, right? If you, like, you know, carelessly throw it or something, uh, it, might, it might ding the car a little bit, right? Or dent it, rather. Um, so I've been trying my hardest to find any sort of, like, rubber uh, ring cover of sorts for this to fit this, right? This is um, 1.3 inches, Pretty much and then I can just kind of stretch it from there uh, well 1.33 to be exact this is just uh, barely an inch and I'm like for, uh, for stretching it kind of but pretty much I'm just like kind of having it here instead of over here uh, only because yeah that's the only that's the only thing I could really do unless I stretched it out at this point let me see if I can uh, get it fit well, uh, hold on Give me a minute here. All right. In other words, no, I cannot get it uh, on the actual rim of it. I'm afraid. Sorry, guys. I failed. I tried. But anyway, so that is essentially it. Um, what you see here. So like I already kind of explained early on with the hose and everything. Uh, I kind of like this um, coil uh, hoil, uh, style hose. Um, it has its ups and downs. Um, like it definitely can like kind of shrink so that it's more manageable, but at the same time, you can actually, you know, go farther back, right, if you really need to. But then it kind of becomes a lot more manageable because of the coil shape. And so... Um, I might actually plan to get another hose, uh, just because, um, this part, I kind of like, 
eh, I feel a little iffy on this whole uh, little cl uh, hose clamp right here. Let me see if I can get a little closer. The autofocus is not exactly great, I've noticed. Let me see. Okay, there we go. So this is, uh, yeah, I'm a little iffy on this uh, hose clamp right there. Uh, it, I mean, it did work. It didn't leak or anything like that, but still, you know, I um, feel a little more assured once um, I get a new hose. I might get a shorter hose, um, just slightly maybe, maybe like a 20-foot hose instead of a 20, 25. This is a 25-foot hose, by the way. May do it, may do 20 or maybe even uh, uh, 10 feet or 15 feet, excuse me. Um, because I, all, all I have to do is just move the tank um, around, move the keg around with the wheels on. So everything works great. Um, of course, there are other parts I, I'm forgetting to mention, which is um, these uh, bungee cords right here. That I'm not going to link because... Um, these are like old bungee cords I got from like a long time ago when I used to, um, do, um, Amazon Flex. I actually used to deliver for Amazon in, with my own car. It's like one of those like ride share jobs. Uh, I don't know if they still do that anymore, but I know they do that with, uh, with uh, Amazon Fresh, but I don't know if they do that with boxes. Maybe they do, but I haven't really checked for a long time. But anyway, um... I did that for like an entire summer. That was very <sighs> interesting. But anyway, <laughs> um, I had these bungee cords to like, because um, I used to have a, a little push cart. Not a little, what do, you, what do you call those? Um, anyway, it's a push cart, kind of. And, um, you know, you, you, you use that for like move, when you're like moving or something. Um, I used the bungee cord to hold a, like these those big boxes, and then I I uh, used a push car or whatever to move it around until I get to the house, and then drop it off from there, right? And um, the bungee cords came in handy. I like these um these bungee cords. I uh, managed to find both of them in my car somehow, and then I was like, oh. I can probably use these to hold down the uh, the keg and um, yeah, pretty much they're all arranged in that balanced way, right? As it should be, right? Like Thanos said, um, it looks a little funny, I know, but it works. So pretty cool, I'd say overall. I do like um, the whole gimmick of the uh, detail keg. Really awesome. I like it. And I'll definitely keep using it. Um, it's very mechanical. So as long as you have a compressor, air compressor, you're pretty much pretty uh, uh, good to pretty much good to go, right? There's no like motors or electronics or anything like that. Like these, I, I, like the IK sprayers over there. Uh, well, actually, uh, that's also kind of a mechanical thing right there. Um, the only thing electronic is the, uh, the tire inflator, uh, that's on it. I tried using a tire inflator on this one, but it takes too long. So, um, I, I went ahead and bought myself a brand new, um, air compressor. I had an older one, but that thing's really noisy. So I bought another one, um, to replace it essentially. Uh, the old one's in the garage, the new one over on the other side of the garage, um, or the old one is in the shed, excuse me. The, what do you call, um, newer one is on the other side of the garage. Uh, much quieter, puts out a good amount of air, all that stuff. It's a 4.7 gallon tank. Um, God, it's a California Air Tools air compressor. And uh, yeah, it's very quiet, very, very quiet. Uh, a little, little on the bulky side, sure, but it's very quiet um, in comparison to my older one. My old one was like a Campbell Halson or something like that. I forgot what it's called. It's a blue. It's like a blue one. Some people may know what I'm talking about, but that's uh, pretty much that. Uh, yeah, that's my detail keg setup for 
uh, as of this moment. Only thing I'll probably change is this, uh, the air hose, which is basically probably going to be shorter, and plus it won't have this uh, clamp right here, just to assure that there's no leaks or anything like that. Because this, is, this has been holding on pretty well. I have some thread tape right here, uh, or thread lock, whatever. And then th same thing on this side right here, right? So pretty nice. Um, that's really the only thing uh, over here that's making me worried. But it didn't leak last time, so maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, I might transfer this hose over to this one, maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, you know, almost same thing here. Pretty similar setup. Uh, tire valve and all. Same tire valve, nickel plated, all that stuff. Um, the sprayer here is a little more typical. This one kind of puts out, um, you know, like a nice droppy mist. It's like fat mist or something. Uh, it's very much a more typical spray spray nozzle or wand. Uh, and I modified it with the Flexzilla um, male quick connect right here. And then this little part right here is kind of rare because um, it's like MBT right here. Right. This is i don't know what this is it's like his own unique threading for the spray wand so that's why it's kind of important to have this set up um and you kind of have to uh um do a bit of searching because this shorter um wand right here or the the what do you call the shorter holes right here is actually kind of bent if i it's like slightly bent. It's like weird, huh? I never actually noticed that. Well, that's weird. Anyway, um, I <laughs> never really noticed that till now. Uh, wow. I don't know what happened to that. Anyway, um, it works. There's no leaks, so that's fine, I guess. <laughs> um, this shorter arm comes. It, it comes from a different one, right? And, but it doesn't come with this, so you have to kind of like buy two spray wands. So it's a little impractical, right? And then I bought this spray head right here separately. Um, this is kind of common on Amazon, sort of, if you know where to look. Uh, it just happens to fit this, like these wands. So that kind of works. This one puts out a pretty decent mist, by, but not as well as... Um, as this one. That's why I really like this setup right here. Very, very fine mist. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll see like in the, the B-roll or whatever. Pretty nice. I like this one though. It's, it's like smaller. I can like use it for like um, alkaline rinses washes like I did with the Preludio pretty recently. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much really it for um, the detail kick I have right here. So this is my current setup. Oh yeah, this little bag right here. Oh yeah, this little bag right here. Um, this used to be where the tire compressor went, but like I said, it's, it takes too long to pump up this uh, detail keg right here. It works, but it takes too long. I, I mean, in theory, I guess what you, you could do or use it as is something to add air pressure as you spray. But I don't know if that will even keep up with how much pressure. I don't know. I have mean, I have never run out of air. Um, is what I'm trying to say here, especially when I'm like um, washing even two cars right at once. I've actually never like run out of air, and then my air compressor is like right over there anyway, so it's like kind of pointless. It's just kind of noise right at that point. Those guys over there definitely could use it. So I I like um, the tire compressor for those IK sprayers. Um, that's pretty much, um, why I like to use it for, but yeah, on that, this is my, t uh, current detail keg setup and all that stuff. So uh, if, I, if anyone has any questions, uh, for the detail keg, um, leave it down below. I kind of like built it pretty much all my, uh, myself. Uh, I may want to change or, uh, replace these connectors at some point. Um, especially the, you know, the out, because I use the out more often. Um, 
but you know they still are chugging along so that's fine um but yeah i mean that is essentially uh it for the detail keg all right so potential video separate video aside uh you may notice the um the arrangement on my de uh, detail car a little different just slightly you know we got the blower on here this is a real be um hand blower uh nice hand sized uh little thing right here you can hear it <laughs> pretty cool um let me see how much battery it has yeah it's pretty cool right it comes with the big this uh nice little battery right here for amp hours right 18 volt whatever you know uh, i managed to snag this one from home depot because they uh, actually went in and out of stock at some point so i managed to snatch that and it's pretty nice because um uh while this works right you know if you want to go a little more cheap this is like uh almost half the price you have to hold it like that and even then that's not the air pressure i typically use but yeah you kind of hear it and then you have to hold it down to um, turn it off. So I don't like having to hold down things where I can kind of just like use this, all right? It's like instant power right there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I use it at the end of my car washes because, you know, um, I like to kind of like just, um, what do you call, uh, dry off like the sort of like these crevices right here, right? Especially the mirrors. The mirrors always hold a lot of water somehow, and then the the parts of the trunk and all the little crevices, basically. All right. I like to blow that off, but maybe I should just do that. Um, you know, at the very first step, right? Just to focus on the crevices and then just like you know dry off everything else too. Yeah, that could that could probably work. I'd be a little faster maybe if I am going to use a blower. Um, but yeah, but yeah, uh, also I may have a topic coming up for a car wash video and it's, uh, you know, what's like the best way to wash a tire, right? You know, and tire shine and all that stuff. Okay. Because, um, I actually found, uh, something from out of spec detailing. Uh, I like his channel because I love the way he explains things. Very, very cool guy. It seems like, right. Um, hope I maybe, maybe, maybe someday I maybe it'd be nice to meet him, but anyway, um, I liked his video on the tire cleaning, uh, sort of procedure. And basically the one big thing is that you clean with a microfiber towel, any of them really, especially like a cheap one at that. Um, this is the one I use right here. It's just like a generic microfiber towel right here that I hardly use, which is why I went for it um it actually performed beautifully um i i think like in like one pass one and a half passes i want to say it definitely cleaned off like most of like the tire um what i also do though is i agitate the product with the brush so it's not there to necessarily like take off everything but it's like kind of, it's kind of like almost like um the it's almost like taking your hand when you're um shampooing your hair and you're like you're like just using your hand to like agitate the foam in your hair stuff like that and massage it into your scalp kind of like that with the brush i like to i like to try to like agitate it and uh with the uh wheel tire cleaner and then i come in with the uh the main attraction which is the microfiber towel right here it's it like took off a lot of stuff and then like when i dunked it into the t uh the water uh my bucket wash it was like black or just really dirty so it goes to show that it really goes um really cleans off all the gunk and nasty stuff off the tire um and i don't think it damages the tire it damages the tire as bad as a brush because when you think about it like it, it, the brushes are really stiff right those tire brushes those are really stiff brushes and um so I, what I would like to use is like a softer uh, brush for for tires and just agitate the product and then come in with this. I could probably just agitate it straight to this, but you know, I mean, it's kind of like a psychological thing. It's like, ah, uh, you know, kind of want to work the product in first and then um, 
uh, mechanical work in and then come in with the microfiber, you know. Um, yeah, I really like the method and uh, I did it on my sis uh, sister's car, which is the Prius. And it looks like it really worked out pretty well. Like the tire shine looks like it's really, um, the one I use is uh, this for right now, which is the spray coating from uh, Total Wax's Hybrid Solutions. The graphene, acrylic, tire shine, I actually really like it just for what it is. Something that you can buy from the store, right? Out of, out of all those ones, I think this is like probably one of the top ones anyway, uh, consistent ones anyway. So pretty nice, especially if you um, correctly wash your tire. So that's uh, probably going to I'm, I'm probably going to incorporate that into my my sort of uh, routine now, which is uh, really nice. Now, granted, it is actually something you don't have to do every single time. You can pretty much like take a a, a softer bristle brush and just like kind of work it or something. Um, and then that's it, right? Do one pass, that's it. You don't even have to like really work it like any other um, routine, uh, tire cleaning routine, you know what I mean? And uh, I can just use like rinse's wash for the most part and when it comes, when it's time to put on a new dressing, then yeah, I can bust out the, um, the microfiber or whatever. So get that real off and then, yeah. Probably, I mean, I don't know, um, actually, I mean, Maybe maybe most of the time it is the tire brush and then once in a while it's the microfiber. I don't know. I really don't know. But I I mean I could be wrong. It could be it could be the uh microfiber towel whenever you want a new dressing period. Uh you want to put more dressing on. Cuz uh, you definitely want to have a clean tire before more more dressing. So yeah, I don't know. We'll, get, we'll, we'll experiment more, I guess. But I really do like the idea of the microfiber towel because it really did clean the tire really well. And then uh, when I did the second pass, quote unquote, the, t the towel itself was already like pretty clean. So to me, that's a pass, right? Because I'm not, excuse me, because uh, I'm not a professional detailer. This is just for my car, my family's cars, right? So I'm going to just, uh, give that a pass and then put on the, the Total Wax tire dressing or whatever, or tire coating. Uh, that's pretty much that uh, for my rambling on that part. Um, so let me see if there's anything else we're talking about over here. Oh, yeah. So um, just let's check this out. I have a bottle of... Um, I, it's like a generic spray bottle that I got from Amazon. Um, I have like one more empty one, so I don't. I have no idea what to use that for, but we'll we'll definitely uh, find out in the future. But um, right now, this blue thing is Preludio Alkaline uh, one to fifteen mix dilution. Pretty nice. Um, I can definitely use this whenever like I have like spots of like bird dropping or something. A lot of them anyway. Um, so that's pretty cool. Just have that handy, right? Have that ready to go. I've uh, used Preludio quite a bit, it feels like, um, thus far. And then Preludio, uh, Preludio Acidic uh, has been used quite a bit as well. But uh, definitely gonna use more of this quickly than this. So I wish they have separate bottles from Labo Cosmetica. That's like my, my only Big criticism is that they don't sell sell these separate. It's only like the two pack, and then the three pack, which includes um, Hydro Save, which is actually, which actually I bought this separately. That's kind of funny. Um, so let me see. Um, anything else that's worth um, talking about? <sighs> um, I'm just I'm just kind of like looking around for a second here. Um, let me see. You know, that's essentially it, I think. The last one I will uh, then wrap up with is what I'm holding in my hand, actually, is uh, basically um, the new camera I got. It's actually pretty cool, uh, though, so far. It does get hot in my hand, though, I'm afraid. So may want to be a little careful with that. I'm, I may, I may uh, 
try to like I don't know. Um, you know, show you hold it like this. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Still kind of new to it. It's called the uh, the DJI Osmo Pocket Three. It's like those like little vlogging cameras that people like to carry on stuff, especially like those big YouTubers. Uh, you can also do this. Woo! Hello. <laughs> That's my my face. Um, I can put on like selfie and stuff like that, selfie mode, which, um, which yeah, your phone can do, but it uses two different cameras. So the um, front facing camera is actually a lower quality camera, at least my phone anyway. I don't know if uh, the newer iPhones, like 16 or whatever, have, you know, um, higher quality cameras for the front. That I'm not sure, but um, I know the the back facing one will always be the mo the higher quality ones right of course it's a given but for di for this right it's the same lens because it's like one of the, it's like one of those like gimbal cameras right it's a gimbal right it has a built-in gimbal and so whenever like you know move around and stuff like that um it actually kind of follows depending on the settings right pretty pretty nice and it's like really pretty smooth um, whenever you want to like move around like this, but, um, whenever, you know, I walk around like this, pretty sure it'll be, uh, pretty smooth, right? It's like a, it's a mechanical, um, uh, what do you call it? stabilization. So the image stabilization should be really good in post. So pretty pretty nice this sent me back a little bit but um i wanted to have a portable another portable camera of sorts to set up a wide shot for my car washing and also have a potential vlogging cam for me to use whenever i want to vlog outside um so that's pretty that that's a pretty nice thought you know usage for that and um hopefully i thought i saw something on the towel but anyway um uh, I have a, you know, pretty versatile camera in the sense because I can use this for car washing, but also outdoor stuff, potentially. So I may have an excuse to walk around uh, the beach areas and vlog myself babbling on about whatever the hell I want to babble about. <laughs> kind of like this, basically, but I'm actually outside. But yeah, that is pretty much it on uh, today's journal. I'll leave it at that because I can't think of anything else uh, quickly. So we talked about the detail keg, what I have uh, currently set up. Um, I think the spray nozzle here will not change for a long time. The only uh, downside to it is that it is pretty heavy. So you definitely don't want to drop this like carelessly. It's not, it's not like plastic, so you just you can't just like throw it down. But there's no real, real need to anyway because I'm kind of just like rest it like this. And... It won't fall off. So it's kind of cool. Uh, I probably can also do it like this. Right? That kind of works, but it kind of wobbles. And I'd rather put it on like this. Right? Nothing really else is touching it except for the handle, you know, sticking out. But by that point, the cart should be, or the cart, not, the keg should be well away from the car. So there you go. So that's it. Um, nothing else new over here. I think the next time I wash my car, I'm going to, um, just for the fun of it, bust out the built hamber, maybe, because I kind of want to like really deep clean the car as much as possible sometime before winter hits because, you know, uh, or winter solstice hits because uh, uh, the sun goes down so the sun's gonna go down faster and faster. So by the time it is winter, right? Um, I want I don't want to be out for too long. Uh, or you know, yeah, yeah, I can always wash the car earlier, but yeah, um, doesn't always happen. So I would rather just um, get it done quickly since I have a routine now. And yeah, pretty much keep it basic, keep it simple, keep it simple and clean. That's all I'm gonna say about that, especially coming up for winter. So probably time. So probably sometime before 
I can, um, uh, you know, uh, give it a, that one more deep clean with uh, an alkaline product and go from there. Well, anyways, if you have any, uh, any comments or questions or anything like that uh, uh, for today's journal, leave them down below in the comment section. Love to read them. If you have any like uh, car journal like thoughts you want to share as well, drop it down below. If you want to drop a paragraph or something, I don't mind because, hey, I do the same thing too, except with the vlog. But yeah, um, that is one way to do it as well. So anyway, that's it for me. Thank you very much. And uh, hope to see you all in the next video. Shout out.